Hey guys, Simon here from Top Tennis Training and this video is a simple trick to get extra lag on your forehand. So what is lag on the forehand? You'll see almost every single professional player will have this racket lag. This is where the racket head is lagging behind the grip of the racket and also the wrist and the hand. So this part here, this is called the racket lag. Now this is a very important element of the forehand, especially the modern forehand, and this is something that you see Federer, Nadal, Djokovic, they all have this really good lag. So if this bottom part was a torch, it's almost like I'm shining this torch onto the oncoming ball. So what this does, it gives me more leverage over that ball, force over the ball. So if I have great lag, I have quite a lot of power without putting too much effort in. So some players you'll see, they'll hit a forehand and they'll be really robotic and stiff and you'll see that they don't have much power and if they do have power it's going to be a lot of force power it's not going to be effortless what you want is that effortless power so a simple way to get that effortless power and that extra lag is just to start with your racket higher than your grip level in that starting position so when you look at players like Federer, Nadal, Djokovic, Wawrinka some of the biggest forehands in the world most of them start with the racket head higher than the grip level when they are starting that preparation Now what this does is it bends back my wrist right from the starting position so I'm already creating that lag in my wrist which I want to have later on in the swing I'm already generating that at the very start of the swing so by pulling this back now and my racket head being higher than the grip as I get into that back position the, the power position and as I start my forward phase of the swing you can see I've already got that wrist lagging back and the racket is lagging back so this really simple trick is something that's really effective to try so go out there and try it all you have to do instead of having your racket head level with your grip pull this back and get this racket head higher than the grip level it doesn't have to be much you could even have it just a tiny bit but already there you'll see a little bit more lag happening in that part of the swing so come up here you're taking the racket back you're keeping your racket head higher than your grip level when you get to the back position And as you start the forward phase of the swing, try to stay as relaxed and loose as possible in the wrist and in the arm. So you want to almost feel that you're going to hit the ball with the bottom of the racket, the butt cap of the racket. So from here I'm feeling that this is leading the way and then my racket head comes through at the last second which will generate a lot of power and hopefully a lot of spin. So go out there and try it guys and hopefully it will have a good effect on your forehand. Leave a comment down below after you try it out. Did it work for you? And what were the results from trying it out? All the best guys and speak to you soon. Now the serve is one of the most important elements in tennis. Now if you want to improve your serve, whether it's placement, whether it's power, uh, whether it's the technique or the movement of the serve, we've got a course especially for you. It's free, so click here and join us now and we'll see you inside on lesson number one. And if you're watching on a mobile, click the link under this video. That will take you to a page. All you have to do is enter your email and we'll send you video number one right away.